Early Hong Kong was awash in opium, prostitution, gambling, flogging, and corruption. Hong Kong's first jail took shape in 1841 on a rock outcrop, naturally fortified against possible riots. After three years, the then British colonies jailed overflowed with pirates, robbers, and brawlers. Just to watch him die. 430 were Chinese, 34 Indian, 9 Portuguese, an American, and roughly 130 European seamen. Local Chinese were afforded cells half the size of those reserved for Europeans, who also didn't have to share but punishments were equal for all. Solitary confinement for two days, or a flogging. Other punishments included Victorian hallmarks, like the crank and the wheel, but others were more subdued, such as physical labor, factory work, or clerical duties. The jail was damaged during World War II, but after reconstruction, the site rarely held convicted felons. Instead, it took on more policing duties, then immigration, then mothballed before its conversion to a cultural and tourism hub. The site has developed from a single building to the 20 odd structures that exist today. First, a magistrate's home, a prison, and soon after, a police station. From its inception, it's been a representation of law and order, but now lives on as a space for community and expression. Sleepy bath. <laughs> <laughs>